my god, I'm even embarrassed to come and talk to, to a camera. I've been away for uh, I don't even know how long, but all I know, I stopped moving. All I know, I've been away for a while. And uh, the reason why, the main reason I'm not going to stay because I've not been that kind of person to open up like my personal stuff. I, get, I always keep them as personal and I share what is good for other people's mind. Although I know what I'm going through might be very useful to someone else, but I'm not that kind of a person to come here and just open your heart unless I'm really close to you or we have like a very close relationship that's the only time i can share with you i'm just i'm not that kind of a person who goes around just saying this or this happened to me and this just because we are in this world the world that we are living in it's really a world that you feel sometimes you feel secure or you feel comfortable with someone and then just share your stuff and then later <laughs> that that person just kind of use you as an example or use your your pain or whatever you're going through again against you so i hope you understand me so i've that i've been always that kind of a person if i'm going through something i just keep quiet go on mute and just try to sort that thing if i'm not able then i just cry it, cry it out and that always helps so I've just been that kind of a person who deals with my own ish and then comes back later and it always works for me I just know where and to bring me back to order so currently I this is the worst time for me to go through whatever I'm going through it's been a while it's been going through for a while and I've been just that kind of person focus just ignore it so long as it's not it's not doing it's not so long as it's not going to obstruct you or make you not be yourself then you can deal with it but because of this pandemic i didn't know i'll be one of those people who will be going through stuff and be affected i'm not being for, um, I don't even know how to put it for me to be affected by something it takes a lot you have you will have to fight for for you to make bring me to a point where that I'm I don't even feel like doing anything or I don't even feel like waking up you would have really worked to really really hard so I'm that kind of a person you really have to take an army or a village to come and bring me down because I just the only person who can bring me down or bring me into that like into that point that I'm I'm just done. It's only me. So I'm just working out things. If the time comes, maybe I will come to say it, or maybe you will you will just show it on its own. Because I just, I just like things speaking out for themselves or just let them show it themselves off but i'm not that kind of a person who goes out and just says things so unless as i said you're really close to me and unless you noticed but even if you noticed i'm always that kind of person like oh me so sorry guys <laughs> be away i'm just working on something there's just been a lot going on besides the pandemic and everything right now we are undergoing from as from today today is the 2nd of november 2020 starts the second lockdown and i don't know what it, it, that's going to do to me because i'm i'm um it's drawing me so down because i have to do a lot i have to take care of my son i have like i'm um, find myself uh what do you call it i find myself sacrificing a lot than my better half so i'm being drained so much emotionally like mentally physically so i have to do a lot so i just have to do with it i hope it's not going to hit me like some couple of the whole of september was was not a month for me 
and if you've noticed you would have noticed there's a time i was not in, on instagram if you're not following me on instagram here's everything if you really want to follow me in, in, on instagram on facebook or on tiktok everything is here tap 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 you can follow in whichever social media you want so i'm just i've just been praying a lot i am really prayerful i pray <laughs> everything i do if i can't do it i just go and start like some, i'm not going to lie i i shout i just cry and like if you happen to walk in while i'm praying you will think that i'm arguing with something sometimes i cry and i'm blaming god i know we all go through such stuff i'm not alone so we, we reach a point where we start asking god questions because we just don't understand because when you you, you find yourself doing everything the right way without no mistake but just things happen to you and you just don't understand because if you go by the book why is this going left why is everything happening like this so that's what i that's the kind of conversation sometimes i go i have with god so yeah i just feel free because he's the only person who you can i can be i can talk to like that who the person who the only person who lets you talk to him with full of tears no embarrassment just speak everything to him so that has been my key to bring me to where i am even you see me with makeup the last week from last the whole of last week that was the when i started wearing my makeup i i i changed my hairstyle because sometimes when i'm not feeling like my like i'm like i'm when i feel like i'm going to go like my i'm going down i try to make myself look good or make myself feel happy if there's no one to make me feel happy i try i can do that so i just try looking cool i try i can play on my makeup table with my makeup i just try new styles new hairstyles i just love playing with me and that makes me happy before i used to like clean and i would i've not been able to do that because because i when i'm cleaning and listen to music i just feel everything just go back goes back to normal but now i cannot do that because Levin is at home and I just, just don't have that time for me. It's either Levin, work, home, home, being a mom, work, being a mom, work, being my mom, work. I don't have a time for me. There's even a time I walked home and I worked night shift. Do you imagine walking home at that night with this cold and it's winter and when it's winter, it's very dark. So I walked a 20 minutes walk, no, a half an hour walk. Yeah? I, okay, give it 20 minutes, I'm coming, okay? So, and that really helped, but me coming to that point that I'm walking home when I, I know I can drive home or I can use a bicycle or I can use a bus, just choosing, wait a minute, yeah, I had to attend to Levin, he wants a snack, so, I'm like right now I'm preparing I always wake up oh, wait, what I was saying I don't want to start another story I don't want to go up and down like confuse you so I walked home and that really helped because I listened to some music I had just that time for myself and I said like this is really what I want and it really helped me so whatever I'm just I, I just want to tell you if whatever you feel that it's going to help you like feel yourself i know i'm not alone i know there's a lot of people going through this crazy madness during the pandemic if it's that 10 minutes of yourself taking a bath do it ignore everything lock that door ignore everything put on your headphones no matter who knocks on that door don't open wait i'm coming guys so i'm back i had to go and give levin a snack he can he's telling me he's bored and he needs a snack to make him feel better so at this point 
kids, they think that they, they're, they're the only people who passed that stage of being a kid that us we skipped from being, being a baby into adulting. So, so, and I was just saying, if you just have that time, even if it's 10 minutes, take that path, just take that walk. Do whatever, if it's like going outside, go buy yourself a coffee, do that thing. Don't be like me and hide inside because I was re I I don't even, sometimes I even look behind and I say what why was I doing that it's like I'm punishing myself and I haven't done anything wrong it's just it's, it's just part of life sometimes go, things go so high and nicely and smooth but something sometimes things goes up down up down up down or down 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 and sometimes we, you just don't know what to do and just lock yourself just like the way i was i was the, like the way i locked myself in my room i was just i was not even watching netflix i was what doing nothing just lying there and listening to prayers motivation talks just something just to keep to hold me there because I was in the age of, I was just somewhere, of, I was, I don't even know how to say, I was pissed all the time. There's a time I was, my, I even felt like my iron and the vitamin, everything, like was my blood work was, something was wrong. I had to go to the doctor and they took the blood work and they called me after two days and they told me, you look, you're, you're the healthiest than last year. So just go and if you need a break, take a break from your work. And I also was going through pain of this knee was really, well, I, it was really stressing me. So all of that combined was not doing anything good to me. So I just took a break from work, but, and then I just stayed home and just listened to the motivation and just did everything I could and I prayed a lot and I am so thankful that I'm even here that I can even talk I really I almost felt into depression almost I wasn't like but I said why am I letting myself go there first of all I am healthy my son is healthy everything what is this what is this stupid thing that's tr trying to bring me into somewhere which is going to be not good for me because when I'm depressed I'm angry and that anyone that comes like does anything stupid or just even nothing serious I just remove all the stress with on whatever that person and the first person who would have been was my son because I spent time with him and I didn't want to hurt my son because of something that I can just deal with. So I was just telling God, just help me just get rid of this feeling that I'm feeling and I don't even know where it came from. Just take it away and whatever you want, I will do it. And it was a process. It didn't, it didn't just pray and it came like that. No, it was a process. It was a, every day. I'm not gonna lie. I was just shouting at Levin sometimes for no reason. But I'm so grateful and thankful because my son is that kind of a person when you shout at him, he will not just walk away and be annoyed. No, he will come back and ask you, why are you shouting at me? I just wanted this and this. And he will not leave there until you apologize. So he's been really helping me go back, like my, go back to where I'm supposed to be. So I'm just, I think God sent me an angel just to take care of me because if he was not there for me just to tell me hey you see hey woman you just don't shout at me like that i was just asking for this and this it's either you said no or yes and i said please apologize and he's like there i want you to apologize and I, if you don't apologize he will start like stamping his feet that when he's angry that's what he does he stamps his feet so hard that it annoys you because he knows that will annoy you until you say I'm sorry so he's been my strength and I'm just I'm not I'm not yet there because I have the things that I'm dealing with I haven't even I'm 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 90% this 10% 
it's the hardest it's really hard to just deal with that but i'm just praying and just hoping and just taking a day at a time i even we were not even able to do halloween because i was working and Levin was still doesn't want to go out because of this pandemic but now I don't know but I asked him if he wanted because I would have just did some crazy makeup on him and go but he didn't want but we missed but anything that is coming after this Halloween which was was it yesterday or the day before yesterday we are doing it because me and my son hands down of everything anything he wants i give it to him even if i'll have to watch a million videos for him to ex for me to execute whatever he wants i will do that he is my i always say he's the reason why i'm still where i am right now if i was not if i didn't he have levin <laughs> i'm from i promise you and believe you me i wouldn't be the person i am right now so I'm so thankful because he keeps me on track. He he just every time when I think of doing something stupid or something that's not well thought, he brings me back to my right senses. So I just came here to apologize and I hope I'll be able to be consistent a little bit. I will really try because comparing last year's videos during the festive or october like during from summer to the time like november I ha we had done a lot of activities with levin we even did a carving pumpkin carving video we did some we did i we we did a little uh, we we did quite a lot of activities comparing to this year i'm not going to blame the pandemic or whatever it is that is going through i'm just going to say i'm not in the right place to do all those things and i don't want to fool myself if i'm not good i'm not going to force those things or it's not going to turn up well or everything is going not going to go well so just hoping that you're all fine with your families and friends whatever you're doing just i'm just here to tell you it's okay it's okay not, not to be, be okay. okay i'm telling you that it's okay when things are not going the right way it's totally fine when you're going through something and it seems like it's not ending it's okay everything whatever is going on in your life it's meant to be god has planned it for you to go through it to make you stronger or to have a testimony or to to for you to have an experience for you to help maybe someone else or maybe you'll be the key to someone else problem so you just take it easy and just don't be harsh on you like i was yourself i was i was doing to myself don't be don't just avoid anything that is going to help you music taking a bath reading a book watching videos doing anything just keep your mind focused and just keep your mind busy i promise you that will help you i was every time when i felt like i was trying to think of something that is not going to help me or it's going to make me feel depressed i used to listen to a lot of in motivation talks Mot I even even when i'm washing the dishes i was always with my my bluetooth earpieces listening motivations motivation talk preaching just anything to make you stand where you are not to make you fall into the dark right the dark way of this depression just do just fight it you're a fighter you are whatever you wherever you are you've got you've come from you've come so far for you to to finish it right now because of this everything pandemic or whatever you're going through just take care keep your distance keep safe wear your mask just disinfect let's just fight all of us together this thing because we are not going to be able to fight it if maybe one country is doing the right thing the other country is not doing the right thing or maybe this city is not doing this and this other city is doing the right thing or maybe you're doing the right way you're always 
keeping your distance you're always with your mask disinfecting and then the next person is not that's really not going to help us we're just going to fight this thing all of us together and i think that's all i didn't want this video to be more than 20 minutes or more than 25 minutes so i just came to say hi i'm still alive as you can see at least i'm smiling this is not faking smiling i'm so happy that i can come back here and just talk to you guys and just update you what have i've been doing although i've not gone into details which i don't think i will as you all know if you know me you know me my own stuff i've always been that guy of chili imagine chili imagine is under the water i do my things under the water when they are ready to be shown out there or they will come out on their own or i just i'm not that i just don't like throwing things into people oh i'm working on this and this this i am that kind of a person who who still believe when i'm do, if i'm doing a project it's meant to be underwater unless it's a project if you are doing it it's not yet a project if you're in the process of doing it until it's finished that's now a product finished product that's when i believe it's supposed to be meant to be out so and i'm not now saying that i'm doing any product i just gave i was just giving an example so yeah oh my god i've talked i'm even losing my breath so guys i just wanted to tell you that i'm fine and i'm thankful to be alive and to be where i am because I know where I am, it's where God wants me to be. So I'm not even going to pressure myself into forcing myself into things that maybe I was not even meant to have them at this point of time. I don't want to force things into my life when they are not meant to be in my life. So, and I'm not going to force my life into a lifestyle that I'm not even going to be able to keep up with. So I'm just going to be comfortable with where I am and just wait for God's sign. So just take care and we'll see.